Good morning everyone, I'm just uh, out here on the swamp shutting the cows in and uh, I thought I'd show you one of the problems that we run into in the summer which is a pretty classic example here it's keeping water up to the cows so uh, they've just had their maize for the morning and they've come out to the to the paddock and they're pretty thirsty uh, this was full but they've drained it and you can see there the water's coming out so one of the big problems uh, we get is that the cows drain the troughs and they try and drink from down here and they're not getting enough so they break these uh, these arms off the bullcocks. And it's only gravity fed so the, uh, there's a tank up by my house uh, the water gets pumped up there and then it's just gravity fed down here so they'll go a little bit thirsty uh, now and they might go and all sit down and the water will boil back up and they'll have to be able to have a drink later on so we call this paddock and that paddock there the swamp that's our boundary it sort of goes around there uh, and we call it that because in the winter it gets that wet that you just can't put stock out here and uh, it even goes underwater if you get a lot of rain so uh, hence the name but it is a beautiful day in the Waikato today as they uh, say it's a bluebird day there's no clouds in the sky whatsoever uh, so that means it's a bloody good day to make hay um, so we'll go and have a look at that and see how it's getting on it was pretty foggy this morning the fog sort of lifted in the last hour and a half um, and the sun's out now it's it's warming up so we'll go and see have a look at the hay see if it's a little bit damp So I actually cut um, this paddock, that one, like I said in my last video, and there was another little one uh, back towards the deer shear that Dad had sort of it had sort of got away from him. So we we uh, cut that and gonna bale that too. We'll probably only get I don't know three bales out of it maybe. So, um, but yeah, it looks alright. Doesn't look like there's too much dew on it. Feels pretty dry. A little bit damp underneath. So my goal was really to knock all the seed head off um, but if you if you look on the ground I know it's a bit hard to see um, but there's a lot of seed head there so that's good there's also a lot of weed seeds like little dock dock heads uh, which isn't so good uh, but I think I weed spray it next year and it should be alright so about another hour and a half of uh, drying and then I think the rake's going to turn up he's going to give me a text and I'm gonna go and show them where to go. It's a little bit tricky because you've got to come in off the main road to do the little one, then back out, and then back down here. So, um, yeah, I'll go and meet him and show him where to go. But uh, our contractor we use is only right next door. So that maze there over on the hill, that's actually uh, part of his farm. So it's, uh, I think, it's 800 meters. No, it wouldn't even be 800 meters. It might be 500 meters down the road. So he's nice and close. Uh, but we use him for pretty much everything. So um, I mowed this and tetted it and if you follow me on Instagram which is also just the one today farmer uh, you would have seen that so head over and check me out uh, but yeah for pretty much everything else he does it's just not worth us investing in all that sort of equipment uh, it's just way easy to get him in to do it um, plus our time frames and over here aren't so bad like we don't get a heck of a lot of rainfall that we've got a real short and sharp time period to get everything in uh, so yeah it's just easy to do it that way but there's the bulls over there, I need to go and put them in the race, they need moving, so we're going to do that now and then uh, wait for the rake to turn up. I thought that looked a bit different, so that fell over about oh, a month ago and uh, that was still standing so that's fallen over uh, in the last oh, a couple of days, maybe two days ago, with all that wind I guess, so a little bit of firewood there, there they are. There you go, come on. Come on. Out the gate. Don't go up there. Come on.
through there. They'll be right there. There's, uh, there's a heap of grass just there and along the races and stuff for a couple of days. Uh, in a trough there so that they can get water. Uh, but I do need to clean that silage put out soon. Get that ready for a bit of maize. Mitchell's raking it today. He's, uh, he's on a second headland by the look of it. So he's, he's going to um, finish raking, go back and get the baler. Uh, and then come back and bale it. One man job. Uh, but I got this yesterday too, so I'm pretty keen to whack that up and, and see if I can get some good footage for you. Uh, so we'll put it up and see how we get on. hot now it's a uh, little bit of a breeze which is nice uh, so he's just gonna shoot home and grab the baler the rows are a little bit bigger than what I thought they'd be I was sort of originally thinking 20 to 30 bales but now uh, now I think they might be closer to 40 sort of 35 40 uh, but then again I don't really know I'm just I'm just estimating uh, so I hope you like the drone footage uh, it certainly takes a little bit of getting used to and I'm um, a pretty pretty amateur at it, so uh, <laughs> hopefully I improve in the future. But, um, but yeah, we'll be back soon with uh, the baler, and then we'll see how many bales we got.
Well done with the bailing. Mitchell's just finished. He's heading uh, back to the yard to blow it off and he's done for the day. Um, there's a bit of a breeze picking up now, which is nice because it is fierce, thinking hot still. Uh, it's still no clouds, so another bluebird day. Check that out. Especially all you guys in the northern hemisphere, which are going through that big cold snap. It looks crazy cold up there. Uh, unbelievably cold. I'm yeah, very thankful <laughs> we don't get that in the winter, our winters. Uh, but let me know what you thought of my drone shots too, so uh, that's something new and hopefully I can improve on them in the future. It was uh, definitely testing testing today, being a bit of a rookie, but um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. And this is also uh, my first time making these big rounds, uh, so hopefully they work. I think they, they look pretty good, so um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. They should fill, oh, I think, maybe half that shit up. Um, and hopefully I can put the feeder wagon back out in front of it. Uh, I'm not going to pick them up today, I'm just going to leave them here and probably do them tomorrow. And how many bales did we get? Well we got three in the little paddock, which I haven't shown you today, but three in the little paddock up there. And uh, that makes uh, 36 down here, so 39 bales in total, uh, which I'm pretty happy about. I Somewhere in my ballpark, um, maybe on the high side, but that's all good. That's uh, just over a month's worth for winter, so... So pretty happy with that, but uh, that pretty much wraps it up for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.